There's nothing better than a great deal, particularly when it comes to reloading gear that usually costs a pretty penny. Today, I look at a generic tumbler to see if it's worthwhile. Hey there, Rednecks, Preppies, Redneck Preppies. It's me, the Redneck Preppy. How you doing today? Great? Good. Some months ago, I reviewed an ultrasonic cleaner and gave it a passing grade. But at the end of the video, I mentioned that I had since moved on to a vibratory tumbler. Not just any vibratory tumbler, but the ProPoint tumbler available at Princess Auto. Now, Americans who are tempted to tune out at this point, hold on, my friends. I got some good news for you. You can buy this exact same tumbler on Amazon's American website, Harbor Freight, and some other places. You may have even seen and be tempted by it. Hold on until you watch this review. Now I'm going to say at the outset that this tumbler does work. You put your meat in, you put your brass in, you turn it on, and after a while, it'll come out clean and shiny. Well, the parts that dry tumblers are good at cleaning. We all know that primer pockets and the inside of cases and it can be iffy spots. Anywhere on the outside though, shiny. That said, there are some caveats to consider, and I'll get into those later. Now, like I said earlier, the tumbler that you see here is from Princess Auto and is sold as part of their house brand ProPoint. In the box, you don't get much. The unit itself, a manual, and three pounds of crushed walnut media. It's enough to get you started. Uh, at Princess Auto, it retails for regularly, uh, Canadian $99.99, though it's frequently on sale. Uh, when I bought it, it was on special at $75, and I bought mine in December 2021. Over on Amazon, you can find it for US $90, and with that website's algorithmic price system, I wouldn't be surprised if merely adding it to your watch list triggered a cheaper price in under a week. Harbor Freight has it for $70. Now, it goes without saying that this is a dry media tumbler. I've read some people wondering why their unit no longer works after using water and steel pins. It's not waterproof. Do not do this. Uh, with the three pounds of media in the drum, you then have room for a further two pounds of whatever it is that you want to clean and polish, as this is a five pound tumbler. Now, as for results, well, this is where I would typically show you before and after pictures. Let me be honest, this tumbler works as well as pretty much every other tumbler ever made does. Like all tumblers, your results are going to depend on several factors, including the condition of whatever you want to clean and polish, the media that you're using, the length of time that you tumble for, and whatever little tricks you employ to enhance the process, such as using car polish to make your brass even shinier. In operation, I have to say that it's really not that noisy. I mean, it's loud, yes, it's a vibratory tumbler, but it's not as loud as you think it is. I'll run mine right now. At the moment, it has 50 303 British cases along with the three pounds of crushed walnut media. Now, I don't know how this is coming through on my microphone, but in person, it's not that horrible. In fact, I've run this thing in one room and not really heard it in the next room. All that said, in the 10 months that I've used this unit, I've never really been disappointed with how my brass has turned out. If I have been, it's usually because I didn't have enough car polish in there or I didn't run the unit long enough. So if I'm not going to focus specifically on the results, how is this actually a review? Well, now I'm going to get into those caveats that I mentioned earlier. The fact that there are a number of places selling the same tumbler, and I'm not saying the same based on aesthetics, I'm saying down to an atomic level that these are the exact same tumblers. The one that you buy at Princess Auto was made by the same factory worker in some Chinese slave labor camp that the one from Legal, from USA Tools and More, from Harbor Freight, from Arbor, and a hundred other places. Now, I'm not saying that rebranded items are inherently lower quality, nor am I one of those who believes that the products made in the same factory necessarily have the same build construction. It's quite common that two companies' products are made in the same plant, but to different specified standards. In this tumbler's case, though, I'm convinced they're all the same. Which now leads me to the issues that this tumbler can have, at least according to online reports, and the issues that I had. First, there are a few reports which state that the motor which drives the tumbler has burned out relatively quickly. I don't know how much of a common issue this is, 
but some have or have reported it. Hasn't happened to me. Some people have stated that it does a poor job of rust removal on tools, nuts, and bolts. That probably depends on what media you're using and how long you run it for. I can't say that I've tried putting rusty items in there with the proper media, so I honestly can't judge those reports. The last issues are the ones that I and others have experienced, and it's due to how the tumbler itself is constructed, specifically the lid and the manner for securing it while it's running. Now, as you can see, it's a plastic lid. That in itself isn't a problem. Most vibratory tumblers do come with plastic lids, which is placed on top of a bolt, which extends from the main unit through the lid. You then secure the lid with this wing nut. The wing nut is the first issue. Many people, including myself, have experienced the wing nut gradually unscrewing itself with the result of it and the lid coming off while the unit was in operation. Not a catastrophic failure, mind you, but given some of the lovely things that's cleaned off of used brass, it fills the air with a dust that you probably actually don't want to breathe in. Now to fix that problem, you can really tighten the wing nut to the point where you actually deform the lid downwards. That's not a 100% solution because even then I've seen the lid come off. I experimented with several fixes, including putting washers directly above and below the lid before tightening the wing nut, and it sort of worked. Until... And that brings me to the second and far bigger issue that I faced. I don't mean to blow your mind, you might want to sit down for this one, but a vibratory tumbler vibrates. The designers of this unit may have failed to take that into account when it came to the lid. As you can see, the hole that the bolt extends through doesn't have any reinforcement, you know? Um, something perhaps like metal or maybe even better rubber to extend through and around it that can eat up some of that vibration. In my case, that eventually caused the hole in the lid to slowly expand. The washers I used prevented the wing nut from coming off, well, most of the time, but in the end, the bolt sheared off from the bottom of the vibratory bowl, probably from the lid moving around and gradually weakening the shaft. The lid and one piece of the bolt ended up on the table the tumbler was on. Meanwhile, the other piece of the bolt, some bits along with three pounds of media, some brass, and the unit itself ended up on my floor, uselessly vibrating until I returned to find it and shut it off. Was the issue with the lid and the expanding hole the cause of the complete failure of the unit? to the point that it broke itself and vibrated so violently as to move it a foot over and off a workbench and onto the floor. I don't know. I was watching gun videos on YouTube at the time, but I bet it was. At any rate, Princess Auto has a pretty generous return policy, and even after seven months and no receipt, I was able to exchange it for a new one. The one that you see here today. This one has had no issues to date, but I wouldn't be surprised at some point to experience the same problem again. Now normally at this point I deliver you my pros and cons, but I think the video adequately covered them. A normally functioning unit will clean and polish whatever you put in there as long as you use the proper media and you run it the appropriate length of time. If you have no issues with it, it'll work just fine. If you do experience issues, chances are it'll be the motor or the lid wing nut that's going to cause you that disappointment. Not my normal type of review video and I apologize to you if you felt it was a waste of time. I thought this tumbler merited some kind of review, but I didn't think a traditional format really fit with this one. I'm not going to offer you a recommendation this time. Many people report that it has and continues to work just fine for them. Some say that they've had issues like the ones that I mentioned in this video. I'll leave it up to you whether you opt for this tumbler. Just make sure whomever you buy it from has a good return policy. Perhaps that's Princess Auto and Harbor Freight. As for myself, I'm going to continue using this tumbler. I paid for it and this unit is brand new after I exchanged the broken one for it. It cleans and polishes my brass just fine. Would I buy it again though? That's hard to say. If I had to do it over again, maybe I might save my pennies and buy something with a more of a brand reputation. Anyway, I hope you found this video to be at least mildly entertaining and vaguely informative. I hope your efforts at cleaning and polishing your brass are always successful regardless of how you do it. Take care, and bye-bye.